And on the eighth day, God looked down on his plant paradise and said, I need a researcher. So God made a chemist. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn and do a column and work all day in the lab, do a column again, eat supper, and then go back to the department and stay past midnight at the meeting of the school board. So God made a chemist. God said, I need somebody willing to sit up all night doing kinetics and watch the instrument die and dry his eyes and say, maybe next year. I need somebody that can run an oxygen-free reaction, fix an HPLC with a hunk of duct tape, make a compound in 17 steps and write a 30-page grant, and who at deadline's time and writing up season will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, then pay them from fume hood back, put in another 72 hours. So God made a chemist. God said I need somebody strong enough to lift solvent tanks, heave waste, yet gentle enough to weigh milligrams and pull capillaries and add concentrated acid dropwise for 10 hours, and who will stop his HPLC run to mend the broken wheel of a project student. So God made a chemist. It had to be somebody who get high yields and not cut corners, somebody to catalyze and synthesize, react and extract and stir and mix and filter and shake and draw figures and write it up. Somebody who'd bail a group together with the soft, strong bonds of friendship, who'd laugh and then sigh and then reply with smiling eyes when his son says he wants to spend his life doing what dad does. So God made the chemist.